to New Miami and the speed camera saga that has been nearly a decade. Tens of thousands of drivers are still waiting to get their money back after a court sided with them in the fight over the legality of the cameras. But as Luke Jones shows us, they may still have even more waiting to do. No traffic headaches on the streets of New Miami. Instead, the real headache has been the lawsuit playing out for the last eight years. More than 30,000 drivers ticketed by speed cameras filed suit in 2013. They want the village of New Miami to refund more than $3 million in traffic fines. This is not about whether someone was speeding or not. This is about whether someone has a full and fair opportunity to um, defend themselves. Attorney Josh Engel is representing the drivers. He claims New Miami made it virtually impossible for them to challenge their tickets, violating their constitutional right to due process. There was no ability for the motorists to get at any of the records, for example, to show that the machines were operating correctly. In 2019, Engel's clients won their case, but then New Miami appealed. The award was reversed, and next week, the case goes to the Ohio Supreme Court. We're never surprised that litigation is slow, but we are surprised that it's been this slow. New Miami no longer has speed cameras. In 2019, the governor signed a law cutting funding for any city that uses them. But at the end of the day, they're going to have to pay. If you violate people's rights, you should pay them back. For now, they may not have been able to slow traffic, but they've succeeded in slowing the wheels of justice. In New Miami, Luke Jones, Local 12 News. That May ruling may take six months. It could then take even longer for the drivers to get their money. We reached out to the attorney representing the village but did not hear back.